<coughs> ah, good afternoon. I'm, I'm here with my new Ed Gunn Leshy 2. Uh, this is a 0.20 cal, uh, 350mm barrel. And a friend of mine picked it up from uh, Ed Gunn's UK, uh, from Graham Denny, uh, a couple of days ago. I went up to pick it up off him and we did put eight magazines through it. And it's a great rifle, really accurate. Uh, initially we was like straight out of the box and uh, yeah, it, it, and the rapid fire was very quick. Uh, I put one eight shot magazine through and it was basically a two second shot, you know, as quickly as you could pull the trigger, very effective. So this is going to be a quick unboxing and then I'll be doing obviously various tests with it, especially through it, full um, pressure, through the bar, down to when the red comes off uh, through my crony and then doing some uh, shooting out at 36 yards at maximum range my home range and we'll see how effective it is. I'm going to put a um, MTC uh, X series uh, connect scope on it. Uh, I'll be going on as soon as I've done this unboxing review. So here we go. So this is what you get in the box. Um, just show you the actual back of the box as well. If I just flip it over, you've got information on all the calibers as well. So if you want to know about that, that's on the back. Okay, going back. So this is from the official uh, UK dealer, Ed Guns UK, Graham Denny, and also the guys at A air effective uh, tuning that they tune these uh, to whatever caliber and barrel length okay so what you get you've got your mag uh, manual this is a, a russian english manual uh, so all the english is in blue writing by the way uh, if you if you if you speak russian even better or read russian so we just get it out of there just drop this out like so so it's a great manual Really nice detailed pictures, lots of detailed information. Like I said, it's all in English and Russian. Uh, very straightforward and tells you a bit about the actual rifle itself, where the name comes from, all the different calibers and also specifications, very similar to what's on the back of the box. And also variations where you have longer barrels and the actual, like a buddy bottle as well. Okay, uh, safety measures, things you should do, things you shouldn't do in red, obviously. Um, so make sure you read the manual, very uh, important. Uh, tells you all about the safety, how to load it. Uh, yeah, basically it's a great manual. Yeah, really good how to charge it. Uh, how to change the barrel. Obviously you've changed the barrel, you also have to make other adjustments to like the regulator and things like that. Okay, so you can't just swap a barrel. Uh, you've got to make other changes as well. Uh, how to take the, the, mo the front moderator off. Very simple, just uh, two Allen keys and screw it and then lift it off to uh, get to the barrel to give it a clean if you need to pull through. Uh, trigger's not adjustable, it's factory fit, but it's very precise, very light, and it's very quick as well. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Me and, me and Chris, we just kind of, well, I, I, I shot it, and he didn't even really realise I'd, I'd emptied the magazine. <laughs> it was really quick. Okay, so that's the manual, very good. Um, you also get a test uh, result sheet here. From This is from, uh, uh, it says 8 AFT, the tester, which I believe is A Effective Tuning. And it gives us a 12 shot string here using a 13.73 uh, grain. Now they're probably JSB because this is a 0.20 cal. And uh, looking at the actual spread over the whole 12 shots, it worked out to 6.74 FPS over the 12 shots. Um, its mean muzzle energy was 11.74 foot pounds. So yeah, it's just about perfect. You know, so it's, it's doing averaging 11.7 foot pounds energy okay so yep yeah, so you get a test result tells you exactly what it's doing has it's been tuned okay right let's move on I'm gonna make this too long all your people will be falling asleep and getting bored so here we have it so so what you've got you've got your moderator so basically you've got two screws there okay and your two allen keys yeah and you, you put that over the barrel make sure the barrel's lined up in the center before you do these up it's best to do them up alternating because it basically these are floating so you do one up and then put the other one up and just gradually do them up, alternating. So it gradually pulls the moderator back out onto the actual rifle. Um, two magazines with holders. So you can clip these holders on. You've got rubber loops that you can clip onto the actual rifle. Um, and basically this magazine, it's a magnetic alloy and you've got a steel plate there. So you, t you pull the magnetic plate off, you pop your pellets in and you put the plate back on. You must fit this plate before you. Uh, fire the air uh, the rifle. Uh, another thing is you should never fire the rifle without a magazine fitted because you can damage it, okay? So it says in the manual. So there's two of those. Very good quality. Obviously the tolerances on these are very much like the Steyr because you've got to have a real tight tolerance, otherwise you're gonna have air leaks and stuff like that. So the quality is fantastic. 
um, probe fill. I'll show you where that goes in a minute, but it's got two spare seals in there as well for your probe. Um, also, you've got a couple of spare magazine plates, yeah, if you lose them. Okay, so two spare in there. Now, moving on to the actual the cylinder itself, the air cylinder, um, this has got a rotating cap here, so you rotate it, yeah, until you open that hole there, and that's where your probe goes in. And then you charge it normal, and then you just turn it whichever way, and that keeps you dust out, okay? You gauge at the back, yeah, at the moment we've got, we've, uh, we've got nothing in at the moment, okay? So we'll charge that up. Um, you've got your lever there, you pull that back, and it hooks on, and that locks it in place, so that hinges on the actual rest of the actual rifle. And then, the actual bit itself, so this is your hinge point here, so the, it hooks on, and then it locks, locks back. Um, you've got your indexer at the back, uh, this is a self-indexing, so basically, as you pull the trigger, it fires, and it rotates the magazine, and it's really quick. Your safety, backwards and forwards, I've seen, forward to fire, rear to safe. And this is your barrel. I tell you, it's a quality barrel. Yeah, uh, Lothar Walter barrel. Uh, it looks stainless actually. I can't see any coating on it, so it looks like it's a stainless steel barrel, which is really good quality. The rifling looks fantastic as well. We had a look at that. Uh, me and Chris had a look at it yesterday. It's a lovely crown on it. So that would certainly aid with its actual uh, accuracy. So that's what you get in the box. Um, we put all this together, charging her up, and uh, I'll be hopefully get on the range and probably zero my scope up and. Uh, We'll see what the accuracy is like. Um, but from the, the eight magazines we put through yesterday, I know we were, we were having a bit of fun, but um, at 18 yards, we were getting eight shots uh, inside a three quarter of an inch. The the rapid fire one, where I fired the eight shots off really quickly, they were actually just inside uh, an inch, yeah, or eight shots, yeah, which is really quite good. And my breathing's not brilliant, so there you go. So yeah, very good, very good quality. So. Hope you like that little uh, unbox review. Thanks for watching.